Hello everyone, back to you today's second video, we're doing weekend forecast for today's second video, so as always on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead, it's going to be an unsettled week coming up, low pressure, it's going to be in control through much of the week, uh, especially early on in week, focusing the low pressure of the rain on England and Wales, uh, there'll be a drier, colder slot in the, uh, in the middle of the week, um, so for a day or so, it may get a little bit colder, but drier. And then the second half of the week, we're looking out for the remains of Hurricane Lorenzo to possibly give us a spell of very windy weather, severe gales and heavy rain. There is uncertainty about that, though. So really from around Thursday onwards, the detail of this forecast uh, could change. Um, now, the first video up today was the uh, first season model roundup for the winter of 2019-2020. That's getting 11 long-range models together to see what they're all showing uh, for the winter. And um, that video is uh, on the homepage at uh, Gazwell Vids and later on will be placed on the winter updates page with a written summary going over uh, what all of those models are showing. Uh, coming up later on this afternoon, we'll have your week's 10-day video updates, including all of the usual features, and uh, that's going to be on the homepage at Gaz Webids as well. Websites we're using for weekend forecasts are coming from uh, the weatheroutlook.com, websites.t, and the radar is from uh, Gaz Webids. And we'll start with that. So uh, it's been a mainly dry morning for many of us this morning, but it has been some rain around. We've had some pretty heavy and persistent rain across eastern parts of Scotland. There's been a band of uh, fairly persistent sort of heavy showers uh, across northern England between around Nottingham and Sheffield and over to Preston. There have been a few showers across Wales. They've been a little bit uh, lighter. Elsewhere, one or two scattered showers coming across central southern parts of England, but generally the emphasis has been on, has been on dry weather through much of the south and the east, as well as uh, a large part of Scotland and down to Northern Ireland. Now, you won't have failed to uh, have noticed this massive rain that's appearing just in the extreme southwestern uh, tip of Ireland, and it hasn't yet arrived across southwest England, but it is off the coast of um, Cornwall. There's some very bright colours in there, indicating that there's some heavy rain down to the southwest of us, and that area of wet weather will be pushing northwards and eastwards through this afternoon, and particularly into this evening and overnight. Here's today's Arctic pressure chart, so we're between two areas of low pressure. One area of low pressure is moving off into the North Sea. The next area of low pressure, bringing that heavy rain to the far southwest, is waiting in the wings in the Atlantic Ocean. So, through the rest of this afternoon, I think you're going to see the uh, rain across east of Scotland moving away into the North Sea. Things will be drying up and brightening up there. Elsewhere, we've got those showers across parts of uh, across parts of northern England, North Wales, North Midlands. I think they'll dampen down through the afternoon. They'll tend to become lighter and more scattered as a veil of cloud moves in from off the Atlantic. And that, of course, is ahead of this area of low pressure, which by the end of this afternoon will be bringing heavy rain and strengthening winds to uh, the far southwest of Wales and southwestern parts of England. Temperatures today ranging uh, from around 11 to 18 degrees Celsius. It's a little bit cooler than it has been, but probably still a little bit above average down in the south. Overnight tonight, this low pressure um, pushes in from off the Atlantic, so that's going to bring uh, wet and windy weather to much of England and Wales. Outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain spreading uh, quickly northeast was this evening, then really setting in overnight because of very wet weather mixed in with that indeed possibly even some flash flooding on the roads winds will become strong in the extreme south and southwest possibly reaching gale force by morning uh, across some southwestern coastal areas scotland and northern Ireland will have a mainly dry night with clear spell one or two showers uh, around be quite a chilly night up in the north with temperatures going down into single digits, but down in the south, it's actually going to be a very warm night. Uh, temperatures probably falling not much lower than they are by day today. So some southern parts of the country probably seeing minimums tonight of around uh, 17 degrees. A very warm, humid night down in the south, despite all of that rain. So despite rain, at least it will be mild in the south. Into tomorrow, we find the low pressure moving away into the north sea it will take a time to go as it clears away winds turn into the north we start to drag down some drier but colder air 
uh, from the north. We start Sunday though very wet across much of the country, England and Wales. We'll have further outbreaks of rain on and off through much of the morning. That rain will get up into Northern Ireland and southern Scotland for a time in the morning before it starts to pull back southwards and eastwards, again allowing brighter skies to edge in from Scotland into many of those northern and western areas. By the end of the afternoon, I think rain is mainly across the Midlands, East Anglia, South East England, could still be quite wet there, even into the end of the afternoon, but elsewhere gradually brightening up and drying up from the north and the west. Temperatures still relatively warm in the southeast at around 17 degrees, um, but gradually it is turning colder from the north and the west, and uh, so temperatures generally for most parts of the country will be two or three degrees down on those of today, uh, with a range of around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius for many central, northern and western parts of the country. Next low pressure is rolling in on Monday. So overnight, Sunday to Monday, we will clear the rain away from the eastern side. It will turn mainly dry, uh, but quite chilly. Um, temperatures dropping widely to single digits from the Midlands. Northwards, low single digits in the north could lead to a ground frost in some parts of Scotland. Could be one or two mist and fog patches as well. But uh, to compensate, Monday will actually start on a mostly dry and fine note with decent sunny spells. But it's not going to be long before the next area of low pressure is moving in from the Atlantic. And we can expect cloud and outbreaks of rain to spread north and eastwards across much of the country through the course of Monday afternoon. Scotland probably stays dry. And in the southeast, the rain is likely to be relatively light and patchy, I would have thought, at least through daylight hours. But in other areas, the rain could be quite heavy. And it'll be a fairly cold day as well on Monday, uh, with temperatures probably ranging from around, say, uh, 9 degrees in the far north of Scotland to around 16 degrees in the southeast of England. Under the cloud and the rain, it will feel very autumnal and chilly for this final day of September. Low pressure is still with us across England and Wales on uh, Tuesday, clearing away from the north, and then we're starting to extend this ridge down from high pressure over Greenland and Iceland. That's it's starting to extend down from the north during the course of Tuesday. England and Wales likely to have cloud and outbreaks of showery rain on and off through much of the day on Tuesday gradually inching away into the North Sea, but it could take a long time to clear that rain away from the south of the southeast. Further north and west, it will be uh, turning uh, brighter. Bright skies will be edging down from the north, but as it does so, it will be turning colder too. Winds are turning into the north, and we may even see a few wintry showers across northern and eastern parts of Scotland by the end of Tuesday afternoon. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't rule out some snowflakes, certainly over the Scottish hills and mountains. Temperatures on Tuesday will be dropping in the north, only around uh, 7 or 8 degrees Celsius at uh, best through parts of central and northern Scotland. That is really quite cold indeed for the first day of October. Down in the southeast, despite the rain, we're still just about clinging on to relatively mild air. Temperatures around 16 or 17 degrees despite the rain. Although, of course, under the cloud of rain, it will probably feel quite chilly even in the southeast. Uh, that low clears away as we go through into uh, Wednesday and then we build this ridge down from the north. Wednesday is probably our driest day of the week. Most places should be dry with decent sunny spells. It will be quite a cold day though uh, and overnight Tuesday to Wednesday we could well get our first widespread air frost of the season from Scotland down the spine of the country into the Midlands. I think temperatures could fall perilously close to or even below freezing. Scottish grains may go down to minus two or minus three on Tuesday night. Um, but there will be lots of sunny smells on Wednesday. So I think Wednesday is probably the driest and sunniest day for many parts of the country, albeit quite a cold day. Temperatures ranging from around seven to 14 degrees Celsius. There's the remains of Hurricane Lorenzo just there. As we go through into Thursday, that area of low pressure rapidly pushes northwards and eastwards. And the GFS uh, is uh, keen to move this area of low pressure into Ireland and the UK during the course of Thursday as a very significant area of low pressure indeed. Now, there is uncertainty about the track of this low, so at this, at this stage, I would say just keep an eye on your uh, National Weather Service forecast, keep an eye on uh, on the weather forecast for the next few days. Things could get quite rough Thursday through to uh, Friday, but there is uncertainty. 
So firstly, it's likely to start off mostly dry with sunny spells, probably quite cold again in the north with some touches of ground frost and then cloud uh, rain and rapidly strengthening winds moving in from off the Atlantic Ocean could give uh, severe gale force winds, obviously with such tightly packed ice bars as we have there, uh, to island and western parts of the UK by the end of Thursday. We could see gusts going up to 60, 70, maybe 80 miles an hour with heavy rain spreading northwards and east was uh, as well in the south and southeast the rain could be rather lighter and patchier temperatures on thursday after chilly start probably becoming warmer and it may start to feel rather humid as well remember this is the remains of the hurricane so its origins are from the tropical atlantic it could be one of those funny days where um it feels pretty warm and humid despite the fact it's wet and windy so temperatures in the southeast after chilly start could go up to around 18 degrees in the north and west probably not as high as that but definitely a warmer and more humid feel if we bring this area of low pressure in containing the remains of hurricane Hurricane Lorenzo. Now, overnight Thursday to Friday, that road pressure moves away into the North Sea, so things gradually calm down, but Thursday night could be a pretty rough night with severe gale force winds, gusts up to 80 miles an hour, and uh, quite a bit of heavy rain as well. We start Friday on, potentially quite a wet and windy note in the east. That low should move away into the North Sea, and then we go into Quite a breezy day, but not as stormy as it is on Thursday. Uh, with sunshine and showers, particularly in the north and west, and then later on maybe some longer spells of rain starting to return to parts of uh, western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Temperatures could still be relatively warm in the southeast corner, especially first thing on uh, Thursday morning, on Friday morning, possibly up to around 17 or 18 degrees, but gradually cooler air should be moving in from off the Atlantic. And then next weekend, we keep this very unsettled weather going. That Saturday, showers or longer spells of rain uh, really summing it up. Looks like we're going to have another more persistent spell of wet and windy weather across the country there on Sunday. Again, it is uh, windy, tightly packed isobars, so um, wet and windy and autumnal and becoming cooler again into next weekend. Finally, just having a look at the charts from Weather Outlook. So, uh, we've got showers around today, but there is also a reasonable amount of dry weather. By the end of the day, we've got rain gathering in the uh, southwest. That leads to a very wet start, particularly across England and Wales on sunny, some very wet weather uh, around indeed for England and Wales. And gradually, more persistent rain will start to ease, but we will still have showers into the afternoon. More wet weather coming in off the Atlantic on Monday again, particularly the focus of that on England and Wales. And still wet across much of England and Wales on Tuesday. Always driest but coldest up in the north. And then most drier, colder conditions extending across the country as we go through Tuesday into Wednesday. Our first air frost of season likely through central and northern parts of the country on, uh, on Tuesday night. But Wednesday should be the driest and brightest day of the week, albeit quite cold. And then into Thursday and Friday, a lot of uncertainty about the track of uh, ex-Hurricane Lorenzo that potentially could give us some very stormy weather from Thursday through to Friday. So there's a lot going on with the weather this week. Do uh, keep in touch with the forecast, particularly in relation to what's happening with the remains of Lorenzo around Thursday and Friday. But overall, this looks like a very unsettled, wet and windy week. And uh, autumn has definitely set in. And uh, there we go. We've been waiting for, it for a little while, but now autumn is well and truly with us. Uh, so don't forget to check out uh, later on today the uh, week to 10-day video update. So that's going to cover all of this, but extend out beyond uh, as well, including all of the usual features. Uh, and also there's the uh, first season one roundup for the winter of 2019-2020. That will be placed on the winter updates page this evening. Tomorrow we're going to have the fifth winter update. That's going to be an uh, a real epic and uh, also we will have a live chat on the Gaz of his YouTube channel about that winter update between 5 and 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon a little bit exciting with weekend forecast today but I'm sure you'll agree there's a lot going on so it is warranted uh, that's all for now and thanks for watching